Hello New Lenox, I'm Nancy Hohen, Economic Development Director for the Village of New Lenox, and today our Notice New Lenox program is at Tucker's Doggy Delights, located on Laraway Road in Calistoga Plaza, the same center as Burkott's Food Store. We're gonna go inside and visit with the owner, Nick, now, and see what he has to offer for the dogs and cats in your family. I'm here inside now with Nick Janowski at Tucker's Doggy Delights, and what an interesting and amazing store that you have here. Thank you. Yeah, one of the things that impressed me when I came in is just the wide variety of products that you have, and when we started talking, just the depth of your knowledge. Oh, thank and, you. And uh, so, I mean, share with our audience a little bit about, you know, what you have here at Tucker's, and then we'll get into a little bit more detail about some of the products and services that you offer. Sure. Here at Tucker's Doggy Delights, we are all natural food and treats for dogs and cats. We do have a little cat section um, to help the cat need out. Um, particularly natural is a loose term, same with holistic and organic. You got to be careful on what definitions those really are. Um, we define our foods as no corn, no soy, no wheat, no byproducts, no artificial preservatives, and no other fillers that uh, are not nutritionally necessary. Mm -hmm. And sometimes that can be very confusing because a lot of brands tout themselves as being natural, but they really aren't. You got it. Um, and pretty much with the pet food industry, you can label anything the way you want to. Um, so a lot of companies just jump on the bandwagon and throw some, slap some words on there to make it look pretty. But what we care about most is the ingredients on the back of the bag. Mm -hmm. And that's where we start everybody. Mm -hmm. No matter what we're looking at, instead of starting at the front of the bag to tell you what brand this is or what flavor it is, we go straight back to the ingredients that are on the back side. Okay. And that's how we screen what foods come into our store. Right, so we have the whole line of, of food products mm -hmm. here, and we have a lot of accessories. Is that mm -hmm. the right word? Other dog Toys, supplies? Toys, treats, supplies, yes. And um, we got into a really interesting conversation um, when I got here this morning just about some issues people have with their pets. And I guess, you know, part of what um, I want people to understand is, you know, instead of just picking up the bag of dog food when they're doing their grocery shopping, mm -hmm. you know, why take the time to come somewhere different, mm -hmm. make that extra stop? Um, I think they have to understand that there's... Um, you know, your pets are a big investment. For a lot of people, they're a member of your family. You bet. And just because you don't have that knowledge of what your options are, mm -hmm. um, doesn't mean you shouldn't investigate it. So, I mean, you guys are right here in town, which you a bet. lot of people, you know, our point of being here today is so they all know that. Uh -huh. um, but to be able to come in one-on-one -on -one and have that conversation, um, I think is really helpful to a lot of people. Yeah, with me, my wife, or any of our staff, I, we love to spend the time to educate the customers, and that's what we're all about. If it's five minutes, great. If it's an hour, we love that too. Mm -hmm. uh, we can spend all the time in the world and walk you through every bag of the foods um, and what particularly your pet needs, because the first thing we start off with is hearing what issues they're having, mm -hmm. but we need to work backwards, find out what animal they have, what breed, what age, what weight, and work with how long the issue has been around and work the issue that way to kind of find out what has been done, what has been tried, what is the commonality of the issue being around for long, so see if there are foods that will help. Right, because you get dogs that are prone to skin conditions and tearing that a lot of times is really an allergic reaction to things that or are in food products. You right? got it, it's nutrition. There's a lot of things that people don't realize that are actually nutrition based. Um, 
Ear, chronic ear infections, as long as it's not bacteria related and mm -hmm. the, the vet says that it's yeast related, it's almost always a food issue. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, and I think one of the other points is, you know, I think people struggle with, okay, you know, a bag of this kind of food is going to be more expensive than what they could pull off the shelf at the supermarket. But if you're saving on vet bills because mm -hmm. you're taking care of a problem or heading off a problem before it ever gets there, at the end of the day, you're ahead. Yeah, and I got great points on that. Um, most of the foods that are out there commercially, commercially available, especially grocery store available, um, there are they are all filler, a lot less nutrition. Mm -hmm. um, if you look at the calorie count, which soon all bags have to have the calorie count, just like in human foods, okay. you can tell how many calories per cup. You'll see a huge difference from our foods here than those foods there. Usually 100 calories difference means you're feeding 20% less or even more, depending mm -hmm. on the size dog. If you're feeding less, the price really comes out and balances out. Right, and you can help people understand how they should be adjusting their feeding based you on bet. what they had been using and what they would purchase here. You bet. Okay, because I think that's kind of a crapshoot too, is yes, trying to is. figure that out. And um, no, that's really, I think that's really a great point. You talked a little bit when we were, um, I was in about the holistic side of things as far mm -hmm. as treating not just the nutrition side, but insects and, you know, we talked about heartworm treatments. Yep. Yeah, we, we do it all. We help you figure out what is the natural way instead of using a toxic chemical way of helping your animal um, deal with the natural environment, mm -hmm. um, fleas, ticks, and all that stuff. There's natural repellents that help your animals and work. I know from experience with Tucker, it's been working for him. We haven't had any issues with fleas, ticks, or heartworm mm -hmm. um, since we've had them, and we haven't had to use the commercially available chemicals that are used well, on the animals. Well, and, and I think one of the points you made was, well, if you're using something holistic, you're not going to the vet to get mm -hmm. something that is a prescription drug, yeah. if you will, mm -hmm. and so you're saving on those vet bills as well. You I mean, bet. not that we're wanting to it, not have people take their animals to the vet, but it certainly is a balance. Yeah, definitely. And like I use Tucker as my great example right now, three years, um, the last time he was at the vet was three years ago for his rabies shot. And this year he is due for his rabies shot. We mm -hmm. have to get it. That is required. Right. But we haven't had to go since. Um, I wonder how much money we save. Right. That's interesting. And people that are having behavioral issues with their dogs, mm -hmm. that's something else that you can try to help them with oh, as well. Oh, definitely. I mean, we're not experts in training and um, behaviors, but we have the resources at hand to help you with those issues. Um, we, have a, we know a lot of personal trainers for animals that help out. We also have um, people that work with um, storm anxiety animals. Mm -hmm. April 1st, we are having an event here on Sunday. Okay. Um, a lady's gonna do a seminar on uh, helping your animal cope with storms and everything and all the products available to you, like the Thunder Shirt or the Rescue Remedy we were talking about. Right. Well, and one of the other things that I thought was really interesting is um, Tucker is a real live animal. Yes. And uh, you're, uh, is, is mascot the right word for <laughs> yes, him? Yes, you bet. He is the namesake and the boss of the store. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we understand that. He's six years old, and he's, you can usually find him here during the day unless he's out walking with me. Um, he's a Border Collie Cattle Dog German Shepherd Husky Mix is what we think. <laughs> and and it really doesn't matter at the end of the day, no. but those are some of the traits. and Yeah. And, behavioral tendencies he has. Yeah, huh? he's very rambunctious and very energetic and loves to work. And he's a rescue dog? Yes, he is. And you guys work very closely with different rescue groups too. So I think that's the other thing that was would I think be a good point for the public to know is that, you know, if they're looking for An um, another family member and, mm -hmm. and to pick a pet that, um, you know, instead of going the normal route, they can talk to you and you guys work with a lot of different rescue you groups, bet. right? Yeah, we try to find all, um, from all breed rescues to the very particular rescues, Shih Tzus, um, Dobermans, Labradors. Mm -hmm. We try to find them all so you have those sources available to you. And those groups, um, I think, try to do a very good job of evaluating the animal's behavior and making a good placement. And Some are stricter than others, but they are very well, because they want the dogs to go to their forever home. Right. They don't want to have a dog brought back. They'll take the dog back if needed, but mm -hmm. they want the dog to go to its final home instead of jumping around all right. the time.
And a lot of times you mentioned that they're here in the store on the weekends you with bet. you, that people could stop in and see. Yeah, definitely check our, account, our events list on our account, our website um, because that we try to post everything that we have or mm -hmm. our Facebook page. Um, we are currently working to get a bunch of different rescues this year. Good. One thing that I guess I'm a little curious about personally is I know there's been a lot of press about raw diets mm -hmm. and you carry food for raw diets you as bet. well. And that, I don't know, controversial or just kind of a new fad or Not there's been a lot of science to say that may really be the best way I, to go. I have two employees that um, are on it and they work great. One's for cats and the other's for her dogs. Um, in fact, the cat person is a vegetarian feeding raw meat diet. That goes to show what she is doing for her animals mm -hmm. because what it breaks down to, what species appropriate for your animals. Right. If these dogs and cats were in the wild, what would they be eating? Right, and they're carnivores. They are. So unlike the Cats the more grain, than dogs. Right. Um, the, the simple form is, I mean, most commercial foods and grocery foods are corn-based foods. Mm -hmm. They're not, dogs and cats aren't cows. They don't chew like this. Right. Their jaws op open up and down mm -hmm. for meat. Right. Um, so we have that available, especially dogs with lots of issues. The raw food really changes the world, but it's not always economical. Right. So we offer everything downrange from there too. Right. And that's something that obviously if someone calls or comes in, you can discuss with them. You bet. The expense of that and what some options are. And you bet. Okay. Well, I think that's really an interesting point. And you also have a full line of baked goods, yep. treats for dogs. You bet. Um, and we've got to cater to the, the, the can't eye candy in yeah. the store. Um, everything from chocolate covered bananas, you know, cookies that look like chocolate, chocolate covered bananas, birthday cakes um, for your birthday needs. and. The yogurts, they're not using sugars. They maybe use a little honey or something natural in there mm -hmm. to help, but they are yogurt frostings. The dyes are all natural, so that it is safe for the dog. Mm -hmm. Carob is a chocolate alternative for dogs, and it's completely safe. Well, and I know my dog at home, if there's ever any chocolate left within range, uh -huh. um, he is on it. So we have yep. to be very, very careful because I know that's not good for dogs. Right. So we can do the care of and keep him happy and not have to worry about it. Okay. Well, I said it was pretty dangerous when I walked in here because I'm <laughs> going to be doing some shopping when we uh, Excellent. finish up the video here. But I think one thing that's nice for people to know is that you arrived at this business really by a passion, both you and your wife, mm -hmm. and had background in this field Yep. prior to getting out of college. So, I mean, share a little bit with us about your background and, and you guys have been here four years. You got So yep. you're established. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, out of college, um, we're both looking for jobs, but prior to that, we both worked in the pet industry. Um, she worked at a vet's office um, for quite some time so as a receptionist, so she got to learn a lot of details and uh, specifics about uh, pets and dogs and cats. Um, she had a passion for, my wife Stacy has a passion for dogs. She, has a, she had a golden mm -hmm. growing up. Um, and I worked in the, this exact industry, the pet food retail, on the retail on side, the retail side right. um, for a bigger vendor. But um, so I had a real big knowledge, and it was very easy for me to jump right back into it right after college. Mm -hmm. um, it wasn't until the 2007 food scare for dogs and right. cats that we really looked into it and researched what direction we were going to take our store. Mm -hmm. um, and that's when the ideas really gun together, and we did our research. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, we got Tucker around 2006, right before then. Um, of course, when we rescued him, they send you home with a bag of some commercial product, right. and that's what he started on, but he stopped eating. So uh, we couldn't figure it out. We went to one of the other foods I knew, Solid Gold, that we carry here, and he ate fine every day ever since. Um, so it was a big change. So our background, we, we merged them together um, with the help of Stacy's father, who does all the book work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got to have somebody to actually yeah, take care of the business side of the business. Yep. Um, and ever since, it's been a great passion and education for us all the time. Mm -hmm. Customers come in and teach us things, as so we can pass it along to all the other customers. Right. 
Well, I think that's great. And you offer some other services, too, that we talked briefly about. Yeah, just before the store, we started Tucker's Doggy Retreat, which are all dog services. Um, going to your house, letting your dog out while you're at work during the day, or dog walking. Mm -hmm. um, everything from, uh, yeah, we do board, but we don't take many clients because of our newly born sure, daughter. Sure, sure. And you don't do that here on location. No, that's, it's not on location. Elsewhere, so... Just so people understand, there's not dogs in the back here at the store. We're, but. we're pet first aid certified and we're licensed and bonded. Mm -hmm. um, so that, you know, we make sure that we're, we're covered business end of everything. Right. And if people had so. questions about that, they can call you here at the store. They can call us. And I think a lot of people struggle with that. I mean, we, we're working long days. Mm -hmm. We want to have dogs. Dogs aren't animals you can leave alone indefinitely. You and, bet. you know, what do you do with that? I My own daughter, she's in nursing school, and there are days now she's gone much longer than she had been, and we're finding ourselves in that situation. Mm -hmm. And who do you feel comfortable letting into your home? You got And it. I think that's, um, you know, it's great to know there's somebody who, you can trust who mm -hmm. has a passion for that. And, um, you know, I think that's a great alternative for people to realize is available through yes. through you guys. Definitely. So, so, well, what else? I mean, we've talked about the store and um, we talked about Tucker and I it. think there are some, some, well, one thing I think that I just can't let us close without mentioning, um, you know, we always, I think we talk about doggy treats and what do you give your dog to keep them occupied. Mm -hmm. You actually have antlers yep. in the store, which yep. I had never seen before. Off deer, elk, and moose. Um, usually antlers are naturally shedded, you know, they're banging around trees, right. scratching them off. Um, and so these are just cleaned off antlers that we sell loose and they are safer than bone or rawhide. Mm -hmm. They don't break or splinter. Um, rawhide is a great product, but at the same time, it doesn't digest in the body. Mm -hmm. So if they chew and swallow a big chunk, there's a lot of issues. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't like the vet bills after uh, fishing out a piece of rawhide. Right. Um, but we do sell them as long as your dog knows how to eat them, that's safe. Mm -hmm. uh, these antlers, they just grind them down. And all it is is really calcium. Right. And they're because stronger. Because it's the marrow in that, just like a steak bone, that they're it. attracted to. You got it. Um, they're attracted to the marrow in the middle, but they'll grind it down and it'll be completely safe for them. That's mm -hmm. something that you can trust that they can leave at home. And keep them busy for a very long time. You That's bet. the part I like. It's <laughs> like, okay, here you go and keep yourself occupied for the next yep, few hours. You bet. That's great. That's great. Well, I mean, Nick, this has been very educational for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have everything from cute little dog costumes to really the nutritional things that people need to learn about. and. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, we certainly encourage all of New Lenox to come in and visit the store here at Calistoga Plaza and um, that you have a website, you have a Facebook page, yep. so, you know, the public can go on any of that to learn more and, um, you know, with that, we thank you so much for having us today. I appreciate it. Thank you, New Lenox, and come into Tucker's Doggy Delights. <laughs>